I'm going to show you how to record a video using Screencast-O-Matic. So you go to the website screencastomatic.com and then click on this big blue button that says start recording. Now the first time you use this it's going to ask you to download and install a plugin for your computer. Once you do that then the plugin will launch and you may have to give permission to use it. Once it does launch, then you'll see the recorder up on the screen. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so you can see it. And everything that's in this dashed line all the way around the screen, this box, this frame, is what will be recorded. And you can click and drag to move it to a different part of your screen if you want to. You can also use the corner handles or the side handles to resize the frame that will be recorded. Now you also have some other options here too. You can choose to record what's happening on the screen. You can choose to record just from your webcam or you can choose to record both. And in that case you would have your floating head sitting on top of whatever it is that you're recording. So if you want to record just what's happening on the screen you can click the uh, screen, the first button, and then click record you'll get a nice countdown and then anything that you do on this screen will be recorded for whoever watches the video. So it's recording me doing these actions on the screen. One thing to note is that you don't want to move your mouse around too fast because when I stop and play this back I'm going to click the play button next to the record button here So you can see that it highlights the mouse and if you zip it around all over the screen that yellow highlighter is going to go all over the screen too and it can be kind of confusing. The other option you have for recording is to just record your webcam. So if you wanted to do a video for um, a welcome video you can set up your webcam and you can choose the webcam button here and then you can click record. And then you get a countdown and then smile at the camera and go and welcome to this class. Then when you're done, you pause and you can click play to see a preview of it. And then I'll hit done. And again, I get a preview of it. If, I'm, if I want to trim off some of the end, like I have this dead air time at the end, I can click and drag that and that gets cut off. Now, I also have some options here. I can download this video as a video file. I can upload it to my Screencast-O-Matic account if I want to create one or I can actually upload it right to YouTube and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on upload to YouTube and it's the first time it's going to ask you to log into an account and when you do that this button this box will pop up add YouTube account. So I will have to launch my web browser so that I can allow access and I'll choose the account I want to use if I have more than one and then it's asking for permission to view my YouTube account and manage my YouTube videos so if I want it to upload my video for me I need to give it that permission so I'll click allow and now it says that it's successful I'm now connected I'll click done and now I can see my account is here I can give this video a title I can give it a description if I want to and I can change the privacy settings. Right now mine is listed as unlisted. That means that only people who have the link to this video can see it. Meaning that if I paste it into Blackboard my class will be able to see it. But it's not going to show up in any search results and it won't appear on my uh, video channel page and it won't appear anywhere else online. So generally I recommend using unlisted. You could use public if you wanted it to appear elsewhere online. The other option here is private and private means that no one except you can see this video. You can put in an email address into that video, into that setting, the privacy settings and then that one other person would get to see it. So generally I suggest doing unlisted. And then when I'm done I'll hit publish 
and it'll take just a few minutes for it to get up to YouTube and then I can see I can open up that um, web page at YouTube I can copy the link so that now I've got it in my clipboard and I can go paste it into Blackboard or I can just hit done and be all done and come back here so I have that link pasted I'm gonna go ahead and paste it into the address bar here and here's the video that I just recorded now if you want to embed it into Blackboard you'll go to your Blackboard course you'll go to a place where you can type into a text box like the discussion board and you'll go to the third row of buttons if you don't have three rows of buttons look at the end of the row and look for this double headed arrow and that shows and hides buttons so I want the third row of buttons and the fourth button over is insert or edit embedded media so I'll click on that and it pops open a new window and I'll paste in that web address that I copied from YouTube I'll click insert and now I end up with this yellow box as a placeholder for my video and then I'll click submit and then I'll be able to see my video and here is that video embedded right in Blackboard